you guys today I'm doing a quick face I just got out of the shower so my hair is is a little bit crazy right now I'm going in with my current favorite product ever for just soothing my skin and just kind of calming down the redness I do have redness like around my cheeks I'm sure you guys have noticed um, when I'm not wearing makeup but this product is so good underneath makeup it just really calms the skin calms my redness really preps my skin well this is the glow recipe glow recipe avocado um, recovery serum it is so so good i bought it maybe six months ago and i also really like giving this to carlos to use he hates like oily thick moisturizer so he doesn't like cetaphil or cerave but he loves this when he gets out of the shower so I love using that. I'm a huge fan of Glow Recipe. At first, I didn't know too much about them, but they actually are a really, really good brand. Um, and then I go in with this product that I'm almost out of. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice. This one's really good. I like combining both of them underneath my foundation. I feel like it keeps my skin very hydrated because I have very, very dry skin. I'm waiting for a debit card to come in because my current one is expired and it expires this month and so the debit card should have came in maybe a month ago, right you guys? And it hasn't come in and I'm freaking out because I know someone who was waiting for a card and someone stole it out of their mailbox and used the money on the card and so now I'm just paranoid because it's the holidays and people are getting their packages stolen. I just finished my simple makeup. Very, very easy to do. Um, took me like 15 minutes. I used new lashes today. I don't know if you guys can see. They are very, very tiny. And the cool thing about them, if you have Asian eyes, um, they're already trimmed for you. They're by uh, Velour. They're Velour lashes. And they are in the style, let's see. Oh, it's called Would I Lie. That is the style of the lash. And you don't have to trim them. They're already super short um, for like kind of like smaller eyes. So we don't have to deal with like the inner corner stuff. But it was so easy. I think for every single day, this is such a good lash option because I literally took it out of the packaging and I just popped it on. I didn't even have to trim them. Friends, did I show you this new robe that I just got? I bought this from Target. It's part of their, like, in their pajama section. I actually have the same set in a pajama set, like long pants and long sleeve. I also have it in the capri pants and the short sleeve. And then I also have it in the shorts and short sleeve. I love this material. It's like that kind of like stretchy, flowy material. It's so lightweight on. But I've been wanting this robe for so long because um, Michelle has it and she literally wears it nonstop. I'm like, girl, do you take it off? And she's like, you don't understand. It's the most comfortable robe ever. And so I bought it yesterday because Target was having like a 30% off and I was like, oh my God. So originally this is $30 and I got it for $20, you guys. I got it for $20. I was so excited for it, but it's a really nice robe. If you guys see this at Target, Please, please grab it. It is so, so comfortable. I am in my bathroom because I'm going to do my hair. Um, I let my hair dry. It's about like, I would say like maybe 70% dry now. So I don't know if I want to go with the Dyson or going with the Revlon real quick. I don't know. I just want fresh, fresh hair. Also, Michelle dyed my hair a few months ago, I feel like, and the color faded. So now my... My white hairs are coming back, man. It's making me sad, but I'm also embracing that I'm getting older here. I love it. <laughs> so I'm getting my hair done in like, oh, I get my hair done next week with Stephanie. I cannot believe it's been eight weeks already. Every eight weeks, Stephanie moves my extensions up. That was so easy and quick. So back in like, I think it was March or April, January, February, March. 
April, March, yeah. Back in March, um, I had Raquel uh, chop my bangs and I had like these short bangs and they were a little bit too short. It was my fault though. I told Raquel, I was like, I wanna be different. And I went a little bit too short. And look you guys, now the bangs are growing out. And I have these beautiful like curtain bangs, I guess you would call them. But oh my gosh, they look so good. Don't mind my extensions just poking out like this. It is time, you guys. I was brushing my hair and look, one of my extensions fell off because Usually around eight weeks, my extensions uh, start kind of like holding on for dear life. I love doing my hair like once a month. You guys know my hair is always up in a button, but I really should wear my hair down and like do my hair more often, huh? Oh, now you can see my hair better because of the light. Oh, bless you, honey. Thinking about wearing this dress. I bought this dress two years ago and it's part of the Rachel Purcell collection. It is so different from what I usually buy. Um, but I thought it was so, so different and cute. I love the belt. Usually I'm not a big fan of like these type of kind of like belts on dresses, but I thought this one was so cute. So I'm thinking about wearing this because I'm gonna take some content photos right now. And I thought this would be a really cute dress. I think that it's so different. It's giving me like House on the Prairie kind of. <laughs> But I love it. I think it's, you know, a little bit out of the comfort zone. Love the belt, really accentuates the waist. As you guys know, over the last few months, I've been so, so into perfume. I mean, I've always had like a love for perfume, but over the last few months, I have been doing this thing called collecting. <laughs> and it's kind of really bad for my bank account, but I have been very, very into perfumes and just like appreciating them way more than I did before. And I started my little collection. I know I talked about it in a few videos already, but I'm very, very proud of my little collection. Maybe one day I'll do like a perfume collection video and share with you guys my favorite, favorite scents. But if you guys are interested in starting out a perfume collection as well, definitely start with Scentbird. I talk about them all the time. I've been talking about them since uh, at the end of 2016 maybe. Um, been a fan of them for years. Basically, if you go on Scentburn, you can try out a designer fragrance every single month for $17. And it doesn't just come in like a small travel size container or anything. It comes in a really, really good size. And what I like about it is instead of spending hundreds of dollars on something that you're not too sure about, you can spend $17 on a good size fragrance and then after that commit to it. Because of Scentbird, I've been able to try so many different fragrances and then after that, I am able to commit. I also wanna show you guys, Scentbird got a whole makeover and it is like my favorite, favorite thing ever about them right now. Like what in the world, Scentbird, you guys did so good on the packaging. They got like a huge, huge facelift. Like it looks so good. This is their new new packaging. It is so, so cool. So it looks like this. I love, love the ribbed fluted design here at the top. How cute is this? And my favorite thing is, I love how small it is. You can just pop it into your purse, pop it in, into your suitcase, your gym bag, whatever it may be. You don't have to commit to like a huge, huge bottle. And it looks like this. And now you're able to lock it. So I don't know if you guys can see here. So if it's to this side, you can't push down, so that is locked. If you wanna use it, just twist it, twist it over, and then you're able to press down and you're able to use it. That is genius because sometimes with perfumes, what if it leaks, what if it breaks? And then also, you're still able to change out the container, which is what I love about Scentbird. So you just pull it apart, and then you can switch this out and maybe do another color. You want black, you want white, you want this color, you want this color, they have so many colors, you can match your outfits. And then this is the container here. Love, love the new container. I love anything that has like a rounded edge, just a fun fact about me. But it is so beautiful and then the rose gold is absolutely stunning. This bottle is like a 30 day plus supply, you guys. It is not a small little sample that you get at the store. This is a lot of product for you to have a good amount of time to try things out. And then if you want, you can just pop it back in. It's so easy. And then my favorite part is this is actually magnetic. So boom, it just snaps together, lock it, and then you're good to go. I'm excited to share with you a few that I got this uh, month. This is Kinetic. 
This is also um, one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, it smells so, so good. I'm gonna actually put it back on. I actually love like interchanging these. I think it's so much fun. Woo! Oh my God. Mm, I love this one. Okay, so if you guys know me, you know that I love like fresh scents. I love smelling like I came straight out of the laundry. Like, and this one smells so good. Very fresh, very calming, not sweet at all. This has been one of my favorites. I also just love like the baby blue bottle. And then the next one that I also got, they're so easy to just like snap open and change out. This one is... Um, Armande Jane, I believe, is how you say it. And I'm gonna spray this one because I have been so, so in love with Kinetic that I haven't been able to try the other ones. But, ooh, Kinetic smells so good. You guys don't understand. So this one is new to me. Mmm, oh, oh, mmm, it smells like wealth. Oh, that one smells really good. Kind of um, very uh, like bonfire-ish, uh, whiskey kind of feel, you know, dark wood in the house, uh, cabin in the woods. That's the vibe for this one. I love these colors. This is the next one that I got for this month. I got a few this month because, like I said, been very obsessed. Uh, Christian Soriano Sur is the name of this one. And let's see. Oh, oh my God, she's dainty, she's sweet. We're running through a flower fi a field of flowers. Oh my God, we're shopping at Chanel. Oh, this one is so girly. <gasps> this would have been appropriate for my outfit today. That's how I determine my perfumes, you guys. Like, it goes with the outfit, it goes with, I'm do with what I'm doing, it goes with the vibe. This one, oh, this one is so good. This might be like second best. And aside from trying out new fragrances, like what I'm doing right now to kind of grow my collection, if you're looking for something specific, they also carry Prada, Gucci, Versace. They also have Confessions of a Rebel, which is one of my favorite lines that Scentbird carries. It is such, such a good fragrance if you're looking for something new to try. Confessions of a Rebel. They also have um, brands like Skylar and Heretic, if you guys have ever heard of them. So they definitely have a variety of fragrance brands that you can try. I will go ahead and list Scentbird down in the description bar for you guys. Make sure you guys try them out. Right now there is a 55% off discount code. If you use the discount code TAI, T-H-A-I, you will get 55% off your first month. And also thank you so much to my Scentbird family for sponsoring this video. You guys are amazing. I love the way the new products look. Hello, it's been a few hours later. Um, the sun has gone down. We shot all of the content today. My hair was in my face and then I put it up and I was like, oh, this is kind of cute even though now I have this huge lump on the side of my head so I need to fix that. I threw on a hoodie and I'm heading to Starbucks and then I'm going to Target, okay? I have to get a few last minute things. I didn't realize that Christmas was literally in a few days. I don't know when that happened. Do you guys feel the same? It was like December 1st. We blinked and then Christmas is like this coming week, which is crazy. And then I forgot that today the nail salon closed early because I really wanted to go get red nails for Christmas. But hopefully I can make an appointment tomorrow. If not, I'll just keep the French. I think the French is really nice. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. I love these curtain things. <laughs> You guys, um, I don't think I've had bangs this good since like high school, which was 10 years ago. I'm gonna redo my hair. I was gonna keep my hair down like this, but I have this thing where when I'm wearing a hood, like I hate that my hair sticks out like that. It is such a stupid, stupid pet peeve of mine, but it is what it is, you guys. What can you do? So I'm going to put my hair up which is so funny because I'm pretty sure a few hours ago I was like, I need to stop wearing my hair up. But I'm just someone who really likes when my hair is out of my face. Like, I like when my sleeves are pulled up and my hair is out of my face. Oh, also, you guys, guess what came in the mail? <laughs> my uh, untapped platform slippers came. They're so comfortable and so cute. 
These have been sold out literally everywhere. I originally wanted them in the chestnut color um, with like the red um, embroidery here, but they only had black left and I'm so happy that I got the black. If you are considering getting these, I would size up one size. So originally I'm a six, but I got a seven and it fits me perfectly. But I just got them. I was literally monitoring the link. I got these on Amazon, by the way, from the actual UGG store. You want to check that it's actually coming from the UGG store. But they are so freaking cute. I'm obsessed with them. I mean, just look. <laughs> I'm wearing them out today. We got a present from our neighbor. Don't mind the random trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was literally standing in front of the house screaming about my Uggs and I didn't know that the neighbor dropped off something. Do we know who it's from? I believe it's our neighbor to the left of us. But I could be wrong. Yeah. It is? Sean Heather. Yeah, um, Sean Heather and yeah, Savannah and Skylar. Yeah, they're two daughters. Merry Christmas, happy. Aw, they're so sweet, you guys. <sighs> Ooh. I think these are homemade. So Heather and Sean made these homemade um, cookies last year when they gave us a Christmas gift. And Carlos and I swallowed them in like five minutes. Those look bomb. These they have a little amazing. Hershey's Kiss at the top. Yeah. And then she always includes home decor, which I love. Cozy Christmas wishes. And we have a basket this year. And our favorite. Those are really good. Oh my gosh. And then a candle? And then we got a candle from oh, Bath & Body Works. It's called Sweater Weather. Mmm. You want a small baby? <laughs> oh, I like that. Nice. Oh. oh, thanks you guys. Yeah, thank you guys. They're the best. You guys, we have like the world's best neighbors in the whole entire world. The world's Ooh. best neighbors in the whole entire world. It has like, it has like a mint. Uh, I don't even know. It's kind of minty. Like, sort of, mm -hmm. I don't know. I it's really it's like really it. good. It smells good. We I like also it. got, I think candles are such a ho good holiday gift, you guys. These are mine. And those are mine. These are mine. Kim can have the basket and the candle. I love when people do gifts in baskets because look. You can reuse it? You can reuse them. Oh my god, that tastes like ass. I'm sad. That hasn't happened in so long, you guys. As you guys know, if you watch my vlogs, Every single time we go to Starbucks together, the coffee hits. But it's such a hit or miss at Starbucks. That's why like, I get so nervous when you guys try drink recommendations at your Starbucks. Because what if the barista just makes it a little bit different? Then it won't taste the same. But it's okay. I'm still gonna drink this coffee. Grateful to have coffee today. It just does not taste the way that it's supposed to taste. But it's okay. Um, I am about to conquer everyone who is also Christmas shopping right now. But I'm trying to go into Target, grab what I need, and head home. You guys, look how cool this card is. It snows. I love these signature cards so much from Hallmark. They are so beautiful. Look at this one. It has a red door. This one probably is my favorite. During the holidays, I love like trucks with greenery on them. This one is so pretty. And then look at this one. Oh my God, look at all the detailing in this card. Oh my God, I'm dying, you guys. I love collecting cards. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but fun fact, I love, love cards. Especially when they're like this detailed. They're so beautiful. I was actually at Target, you guys, and then I had to quickly go home because Jocelyn and Brian came over to measure something in our house for a future project, and now I left the house again. I went to Target for like two hours and didn't find anything that I was looking for, and it was just so crazy at Target. Everybody was just like, panic shopping for Christmas and so I was like you know what I'm actually gonna go during work hours and hopefully we can find something next time we go back to Target but I can grab everything at the grocery store my grocery store has like cards here and some like gift cards because I want to get my accountant um, I want to get him accountant that's came out weird I want to get him um, a gift card and then I want to get our lawyer a gift card as well um, so I'm just trying to look for the right cards right now, but there's so many options here. My nephew is really into, um, like, I think this is what, Buzz Lightyear? 
So this is a cute little ornament. Oh my God, if you're watching, if you're into the show Friends, they have the freaking couch as an ornament. How freaking cool is that? Last year, I think, yeah, last year I saw a really cool ornament here. I got Carlos like a Spider-Man or something like that, I believe. Oh, they don't have cool ones. They're all out. I'm still looking for cards. Look at all of the cards that I have to go through and read. I take my cards very seriously, so I want to make sure that I get the best one. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm actually going to make homemade cards because I have some blank cards at home. And I'll just bring out my markers and color crayons. Um, but for my lawyer, I'm going to get him a $100 gift card to get gas because who doesn't love a gas these days? And then for my accountant, the same thing. So they are literally the most amazing people ever and they help Carlos and I so much literally throughout the year so I want to make sure that they know they're appreciated although I'm walking past these cards and they're really cute right now but I think homemade cards are cuter right I grab another one of my favorite creamers it's been a while and mine is expired at home that's why I've been um you know buying coffee at Starbucks but I need to start making coffee at home again so I got this okay my heart is broken in half they don't have my uh macchiato that I love from Starbucks here oh my goodness I don't know I don't know what to do I don't know what to do do I do I try one of these I've never I don't think uh, maybe I've tried medium rose like last year but I didn't love it so usually Carlos gets the beef bologna right there this little guy but the other day I um, that was like sold out so I grabbed him the turkey bologna and he likes this way more have you guys tried this? It's actually pretty good. Carlos is like the king of making sandwiches. He literally could eat a sandwich every day. I do not understand the man, but whatever makes him happy. So I'm grabbing him more bologna because he wanted more of that. Um, and then he said he wanted bread. Literally, you guys, I was like, what do you need at the store? Uh, bread and bologna, that's all. Of course, you know, I had to grab my favorite Jimmy Dean's hot premium pork sausage. So good with anything, but I love making my fried rice with it. And this weekend, Michelle and Maiden are coming over, and I'm gonna cook like a three course feast for them. Um, but I think tonight I might eat this. I don't know. I don't know what I'm making tonight. I wanted the Jenny O's Italian sausage, but they didn't have that in stock, and I'm heartbroken. We ran out last night, so I'm gonna grab one more. Oh my god, these are so, so good. I literally eat them with everything. If you guys get the bigger cans, they come with bigger jalapenos. I like the smaller jalapenos, I feel like they taste better. Um, I'm here to find frying flour because I think I'm gonna make wings and rice tonight um, I literally went up to the guy and I was like can I please have ten flats that's all I'm craving tonight so I'm going to season my ten flats I'm going to start with my favorite chicken bouillon this is the very very best if you go to any grocery store you will most likely come across this one there's nothing wrong with this one this one's really good but this one is on a totally new level of good. I got mine off Amazon because I could not find it at any of the stores near me. So we're just gonna do a sprinkle of that. We're gonna go in with Slap Ya Mama. It is so good. I use Slap Ya Mama for literally everything, especially seafood. I also don't know measurements. I measure with my heart. And this is just regular pepper. And I'm going to eat it with plain jasmine rice. So you can go a little bit heavy on the seasoning because your jasmine rice is going to be pretty plain. This is just onion powder. I've been really in love with onion powder. And then we have garlic powder. You can go a little heavy on the garlic powder since it's not very salty. And then we have red pepper. For a little bit of a kick. And then we have Tony's, um, yeah, Tony's. <laughs> I just call it Tony's. Tony's is very good. And then we go in with this. I found this out on TikTok. This tastes so good with just cucumbers. If I'm craving a snack, I'll put um, this all-purpose Greek seasoning on cucumbers and it's delicious, but a little bit goes a long way with this one, so. And then I got this Louisiana seasoned crispy chicken fry flour. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I don't think I need to use. Oh, 
like this. Okay, that's good. And then I'm gonna go grab an egg. I have two eggs here. I'm actually gonna put gloves on and mix this with my hands because I feel like that might be a little bit better than tongs. I know we already did the red pepper, but I love crushed red peppers. It just, crushed red peppers hit differently on everything, especially pizza. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna mix with my gloves on because I wanna really make sure that everything is coated well. So this is what it should look like. For the oil today, I'm using canola oil. I don't really fry food often. Um, I don't really ever make a lot of things like fried. I just use the air fryer a lot. So I wasn't too sure what oil to use. So I asked Michelle what her mom used and Michelle said canola. So hopefully I'm using the right oil. I know oil plays a really big part in like frying things. So if you guys fry a lot of food um, or maybe make a lot of fried chicken, please let me know if this is the best option. I would love, love to learn more um, about what you guys do at home. But I have everything set here. Um, I'm just waiting for the oil to get hot and then we will start frying them. I believe 10 to 12 minutes is what I read. A lot of people always ask um, what this is. I mentioned it in a previous video and then I think I used it randomly once and people are like, what is that? Okay, so this invention is like the best thing ever. Um, it's so simple yet so cool. So I found this on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys. A lot of my subscribers recommended this because I told you guys that I have been so obsessed with these and you guys saw me picking them out of a to-go container and you were like, no, 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 Kim, you need to go on Amazon and get this. So basically it's just a container and this little contraction goes down there and you open up your can and it doesn't have, oh, these are big. Oh my goodness, you open up your can, it doesn't have to be this. If you are a pickle eater, like you just love to eat pickles on the regular, this is going to be for you. You wanna pour everything into your container. Okay, I have no carrots in this one. I got scammed, you guys. And what's cool about this is everything just stays protected in this container and whenever you want, for example, a jalapeno, you lift this up and you pick one. So you don't have to put your hands and fingers in all the juices. It is literally the coolest thing ever. So we now have this to, you know, be a part of our kitchen. It is like mandatory. But thank you to all the subscribers that recommended this. This is, this has been amazing. I also have some Persian cucumbers here. And my little butcher knife. <laughs> Look how tiny this knife is. Do you guys see? And I'm going to cut some cucumbers because nothing is better than something salty and savory with white rice and cucumbers. And my rice is cooking right now. It's almost done. It should be done in like a minute. And then we're gonna make the chicken and we're gonna have dinner. Dinner will be ready. So a way that I know if the oil is ready to go, I'll take a chopstick and I will press it on the bottom of the pot. And if you see like a bubbling and bubbles are shooting up, that means that the oil is ready to go. Or you can get like a little bit of the batter and put it in and it should start frying. Nice. That's a good ass temperature there. Put it in nicely. And you wanna cook it until it's nice and golden and brown. It is like the most beautiful color. You will know when it's happening. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. I think that I used the wrong frying powder, or I mean frying flour, because my fried chicken looks weird. Well, this one, like, I don't know. There's something weird about it. If you guys know how to fry chicken, I think I did something wrong. Did I use the wrong frying powder? Our frying flour. Kim, what is wrong with you? I don't know. It's cooked, but the, the, the outside doesn't look like the, the flour that you see fried chicken. Like it doesn't look like the fried chicken from like the Chinese restaurants. There was this Chinese restaurant in Patterson, New Jersey, and they made the best fried chicken wings ever. Also, I wanted like, 
the fried chicken wings, you know? Not like the drumstick, but like, it's like the body and then it's got like the wing. I couldn't find that at my grocery store, so I just went with flats. But this will do. I'll have to go to an Asian store and find those wings, huh? Well, bon appetitis. Let me bite into this. Hmm. It's definitely very good. But like the outside, that's not how it's supposed to look. Did I use the wrong frying flour? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Did I use too much flour? It tastes really good, but I think I can do better. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna get a jalapeno here. Have. Let's see. It's hot. Let's do rice and the chicken. Clean my bones, you guys. Mmm. The chicken's delicious, but the flour on the outside? I don't know. I don't like it too much, the flour. I'm gonna try a different flour next time. Mm. Just the wrong flour. Or too much flour, and I don't like this flour. I bought new flour. flour. That's not bad though. Good? Mmm. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. Seasoned well, right? Just did it wrong. Mm-hmm. It was. Not bad. I am in my studio. I'm actually gonna give my studio a huge makeover in the new year. I'm just like debating on a very affordable table right now. I'm looking at Ikea. They have some options. So this whole room will be completely different. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this has become half studio, half getting ready room, half storage. Things that we like don't have any other place to put we put here. So this room has become a little bit of everything, which is so crazy to think about because last year, I remember in January, do you guys remember we like literally decluttered this whole entire room? So this isn't as bad as what we did last year. I think last year was pretty insane. As you guys know, last year I got these uh, put into my studio and in every container, they're split into categories for my makeup items. I actually have been dreading this so much, but it is time to say goodbye to all of my makeup items that I don't use. I feel like they've been organized in these compartments for what, a year now? And a lot of the stuff like I just don't touch. And so I wanna put them in a box and donate them to family or friends. They're brand new, I haven't touched them at all. Like, I literally, like this Lancome powder, haven't used once. And so I feel like since they are still usable, um, a lot of them maybe six months, I don't know, like a few months. Oh my gosh, look at Rocky. 
Rocky's trying to come in. Baby, you can come in if you want. Also, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. I kind of abruptly ended Vlogmas without telling you. So I probably should tell you guys this now. I've also kind of been dreading this as well because I didn't really want to have this talk with you guys because I kind of felt like I was letting y'all down and I didn't want to do this um, or I didn't want to do that and let you down. But you know, wow, Vlogmas has been very, very intense and it didn't feel this intense last year. And I wonder if it's because last year I really didn't have too much going on. But this year, man, we were just so, so busy. We had so many things from the clothing line. Um, you know, you guys know we started this small business last month and then the holidays and then also aside from posting on YouTube for Vlogmas, we had a lot of other... Um, situations and business things going on as well. On top of that, I'm also shooting brand deals because I mean, if we're being honest right now, um, I don't know if you guys see it from your perspective, but from my perspective in a business way, um, short, short, short form content is pretty much the thing right now. So I feel like not a lot of people are really focused on long form content. And if you guys don't know what that means, basically long form content are longer videos, like YouTube videos and vlogs and stuff. And short form content are things like TikTok and Reels, like maybe 30 seconds to like a minute. Um, and so a lot of people are just focusing on that. And so that's where a lot of brands are like putting their marketing money into and so a lot of people have been focused on that but I just feel like I'm so old school like I love hanging out with you guys and I love making vlogs but as a content creator um you know and this goes for any industry and any business as time changes your industry is going to change and you kind of have to keep up with it um without losing yourself in all this chaos so December has been crazy, and so I ended Vlogmas a little bit earlier. Um, I know Vlogmas goes up until the 25th. I kind of ended it on the 18th. I was so, so close, you guys. We were only, what, a few days away? But for my mental health, I really, really had to do it. There were so many things that literally just got poured on us and we had to kind of weigh out what we needed to get done for everyone and everything to kind of be on good terms and be happy. So I've been really dreading telling you guys this because I didn't want to feel like I let you down. I know last year's vlog miss was so litty titty. We had so much fun over there. Um, we vlogged until the end of the 25 days, minus the whole, you know, um, hard drive breaking on us. And, you know, I feel like Although we didn't really finish Vlogmas this year, we did do 18 videos. And also, I feel like this Vlogmas, I was able to get real and raw with you guys. I mean, I was able to share a lot of my emotions. And I felt like for the first time in a while, we got really, really close, right? So um, I hope I didn't let you guys down. Regardless, we are still still vlogging. I don't know what my schedule of um, my schedule for my vlogs will be moving forward, but I do know that I want to obviously continue vlogging, and we're doing a lot of vlogging behind the scenes. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there and let you guys know. But thank you so much for giving me such an incredible year as well. I'll save all this for maybe the last video of the year. But, you know, I've been doing this for eight years now this month, and I just love you guys. Every single year, our family gets bigger. I, I just can't express enough how grateful I am for you guys. Like, I just, there are not enough words for me to explain to you how much you have played such a big part in my life. A lot of everything that you see is because of you guys. So thank you so much. And um, like I said, we're going to continue vlogging. Just don't really know the posting situation yet. I also wanted your input. Like, do you like when, you know, your favorite YouTubers post a vlog once a week, twice a week, three times a week? Also, I, I know that you guys really like the longer vlogs. And so I want to be able to really focus on giving you like well curated, fun, full vlogs. They're not, I don't like short vlogs either. Like it killed me when I uploaded that like 
eight or 10 minute vlog the other day. I was like, I'm gonna try it. I didn't like it at all. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Also, there is a giveaway in this video. I am giving away $100. So if you guys want to enter to win $100, comment down below and let me know your favorite part of today's video. Make sure you're following me on my YouTube channel and following me on Instagram. And please, when you comment, leave your Instagram username as well. I will see you guys in the next video. We have really fun things coming up. Thank you so much for allowing me to enjoy my Christmas this week with my friends and family. Um, I really, really appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a great Christmas if we don't get to talk before then, but I think we will. So I love you guys. Bye.